fish and you usually encounter problems, but that can be a good thing, right? Sometimes you come up against a design dilemma and you gotta use your brains and figure out how to solve it. So we have some uh, pretty amazing before and afters. I love before and afters. <laughs> I'm gonna start with Colin and Justin. Uh, I believe this is a bedroom. Let's take a look at this. It is. I mean, is this, is a, this is a young man's bedroom. You know, yeah. and one of the biggest problems I think that we all encounter with any renovation is budget. There's always a lack oh, of dollars, totally. you know? And it tends to be that you spend it on the main rooms. You know, that's where we lavish the cash. Suddenly you're in a kid's room and you're like, oh, I got no budget left. But you still mm -hmm. want to do something fantastic. So we actually just created our own wallpaper. We got some masking tape and we painted some bands on the wall. Wow. Yeah. So that we could actually get that pop. Something really exciting, energizing, yes. but it cost us absolutely not a lot, which you is great. Also you also know? threw so, everything out. Like, oh, where did all that yeah, stuff exactly. go? There's Uncle Colin and Uncle Justin. Where's all my stuff? <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it's not here anymore. You did a great job. It's light, it's airy, it's beautiful, it's edited. Okay, we've got another before uh, from Colin and Justin. You can tell me which room of the house this is. I think it's a basement. It is a basement, Tracy. A basement? And therein lies the problem because so many basements don't have sufficient natural light and decent windows right. and also so many basements are literally just kind of crash zones for all the stuff that you don't need so as you can see there are tons of laundry so what we did here I mean junk <laughs> you know just a complete mess now I like a little order you know everything yeah. in its place and a place for everything so first up we problem solved by creating an area to the right using wardrobe doors from a big box store That's okay beautiful. now we eliminated them behind Eliminating from behind creates the illusion of light, but then going further into the living room, what we did there was we created what looks like a chimney breast, but it's actually just a drywall structure with a television above, a stretched perpendicular kind of lovely unit below, which we kind of custom did using MDF. But the important thing is here, the real problem solver was creating more illusion of natural light. So we brought the wall forward, we inserted two regular big, uh, big box store windows, lit them from behind, put an opaque film on them, and hey presto, you've got what Smart. appears to be proper lighting. So big problem, problem solved. Really good, yeah. I love that, that's great. You wouldn't even know if it was the same space you if it wouldn't. wasn't for that column, right? So, um, Jen, let's take a look at one of yours. The before looks beautiful, but there was obviously, there was an issue here, right? Yeah, you know what, it's lovely. You see all these windows, but on the left there is a wall. So you okay. come into the house and you don't see any of this. This is all hidden behind a big wall. Oh, so I you've see. got this lovely look of, over of the garden, but you don't get to see any of it. And yeah. really, as lovely as it looks, the kitchen was really squishy. It was really, so really tiny, squishy. Yeah. Tiny little galley kitchen at the back of the house. Okay. And in our other before picture, you can sort of see you have this massive hallway. Yes. That's such a waste of space, yeah. right? So you walk into the house, it feels huge, but then at the back, you have this tiny kitchen. Yes. Okay, so of course, I'm like, that's it, we're taking the wall out. That's it, the wall's coming out. Got this has to wall. go. We need to see the light. We need to see those windows. Yeah. Of course, yeah. in our construction nightmare, every single thing you don't want to be in the wall was in that wall. Oh, our main electrical yeah. line, our main plumbing stack, our HVAC, you know, our heating, and it was all in that wall. Yeah. Luckily, the contractor was Totally game, took it down, and the end result was absolutely worth it. Look at the light. You walk into the house, beautiful. and that is exactly what you see, this beautiful kitchen with tons of natural light. Now, what do you do in a situation like that when that wall has everything you need in it? We're talking about way more budget and because you got to move a lot of stuff. Absolutely, and lucky for us, the client absolutely loved my vision and yeah. said look that's it this is one time we're doing this we're living here forever we're never right. moving it's worth it to us yeah so I was lucky that we had the budget to do that yeah. obviously there would be times that you just wouldn't but the client absolutely loved their house and was willing to invest in it and you were able to find other walls to put all of that stuff in oh, right? lots of beams lots of lots beams of up beams. in the ceiling okay yes. got it so that's the solution it's beautiful okay Michael we have got another uh, basement mm -hmm. here yes. so let's take a look and a lot of us will recognize our basements I grew up with a basement like this you just see the insulation um, it's not finished yet and the thing about a basement is that it is the square footage of the entire house down there and it's usually like one big space so what a great place to invest your money in. What was the issue here? The issue here was we had to work around this pool table we wanted there. 
And uh, if you can see, there's a support beam and the stack, the main pumping stack right yeah. in there. So originally we thought, okay, we'll just move them tighter, put them in a, in a column. Mm -hmm. But we couldn't go closer. We couldn't actually move those closer. And there was an awkward 45 degree, about three and a half feet between it. So it would have been a huge, weird wall space. space. Yeah. So what we did is we actually moved the top over, lowered it down, and have to come over on a 45, sorry, the 90 degree angle. Okay. And we turned it into yeah. a half wall. So now we just retreated the wall like it's part of the bar. We put yes. the countertop on top. It's beside the pool table, so now yes. it's a place where you can put your drink. Yeah. And it looks like it was purposely done. And there was never, the conversation never came up. You never said to the client, do you really need this pool table? <laughs> no, it was the one thing in the entire basement that was full of that he was keeping. Right. Yeah. No, it's a great feature, though. Now, you're all designers. You work in this all the time. What would you say is the one big issue that people have when you walk into a space? Is it about a wall? Is it about clutter? What is the issue, the problem that comes up again and again for you storage, all? Absolutely storage, absolutely everything all the time. Yeah. yeah. When Colin showed that room there, we obviously we didn't just get rid of everything. We plonked everything into into really kind of sensible boxes and storage chests. Yeah. Um, but every time we we talk to a client, that's the first thing that they want to kind of talk about. How do I get rid of stuff, or how do I keep it, and how do I edit it? Yeah. And I think people they actually assume other people's uh, identity as well. You walk into a room, the television was there before. You just put your TV in there. Yeah. Look at your space. How are you going to use it yourself? Reimagine it, yeah, right? Exactly. Beautiful. Thank you so much for these uh, lessons.